I mean, a lot of property actually trades off market. So if you're just jumping on domain or realestate.com, you're probably seeing half of what could be out there. Really? Half? Yeah, around wow. 50% trades off market or, or pre-market. Tammy Sognanich, welcome to Property Insights. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How you going, all right? Yeah, good. Thank you. I saw you walking in on the telephone and you're always someone trying to get you to buy something before you're ready. There's always, there's always deals happening. I mean, 20 years ago, I never, no one ever heard of a buyer's agent. Um, and there are a couple running around the place, but they're trying to establish the reason why they're valuable. And now, obviously, they are very valuable. Is that why your buyer's agency industry has emerged as a really strong industry? Because vendors, agents will sort of wind them up about prices. Is it about rational, being rational? Towards it's a, a mixture of, of that and also getting access to more stock. I mean, a lot of property actually trades off market. So if you're just jumping on domain or realestate.com, you're probably seeing half of what could be out there. Really? Half? Yeah, around wow. 50% trades off market or, or pre-market. Um, so, you know, it's about getting access to everything. And especially if you're like a first home buyer or it's, you know, transacting on property is not something you do very often. It, it's quite daunting. It's quite scary to know, okay, am I being taken for a ride here? Like, what is the true value of this property? If, if you're, you know, don't know the area that well, you've really got to do your research. You've really got to say, okay, well, these properties will sold around this price. So it means this property could be worth this. And that's what a, you know, a good buyer's agent will do. They'll have all the information uh, about what's sold off market, how many buyers are on a certain property. They'll know what stock's going to go well, what stock's going to sell at a certain level. And they'll come up with the value of a property. So you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm investing wisely and I'm paying what the market value is or you know, if they're a great you know, negotiator, maybe even something better. Yeah. In your game, the buyer's agent's game, are you mostly act, acting for or representing people who want to buy a home for themselves, like own an occupier, or are you or are you representing investors as well? Both. I've Both. bought for you know quite a few investors. And which and of those two markets at the moment, that is June two thousand and twenty-two. Where have you seen a a change or a shift? Any shift in demand? Is there are the investors? all of a sudden working out it's a really good time to buy or the owner occupier is still more prevalent than the investors? There's actually been a lot of investors coming back at the moment. I mean, vacancy rates are down to I think 1.6%, which is um, you know the lowest they've been in a while. Rents are increasing. So while interest rates are increasing and you know your mortgage repayments might be increasing, you know rents are also increasing. So if you're investing in property, it sort of evens itself out. So there's definitely a lot of um, investors and you know they, they might see now as an opportunity i mean i think there's there's good deals around so if you are looking to buy and, and invest you know you'd be looking now in the next couple of months to see what happens and, and to get into the market especially if you're going to hold a property for a long time <laughs>